Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel, and as you guys saw from the title, today we are going to be trying to pack-a-punch every single gun in Call of Duty World at War Zombies. So this is a new series I want to start on the channel where we're going to go through each and every single Call of Duty Zombies map and try to pack a punch every single gun on every Zombies map. Today I count 22 guns that we are going to have to pack a punch. Some are in the box, some are on the walls, and uh, let's just pray that RNG is on our side. In a lot of my videos lately I've been doing a lot of crazy edits, throwing in like pictures and videos and memes and stuff like that, but for today since it's going to be a longer video, I don't, I, I already know if I tried to edit a bunch of that stuff in it would probably start annoying you guys after all that time rather than actually being funny so i'm just gonna lay off on it and just keep it like a chill quick cut type video like my other ones i've never done anything like this before so i don't have any real plans of action i'm just uh gonna be grabbing the thompson probably and hoping to build up as many points as possible with that and keeping that unpack a punch for as long as possible so then i can just rack up the points go get more ammo and just kind of farm them up that way the two biggest ones i'm worried about looking at it right now are the ray gun and the wonder because i know how that rng is and uh oh we have acquired the Thompson, so now we can start racking up the points. Feels really good to be playing World of War. I mean, I did just have to play a lot of World of War a couple weeks ago to make that retrospective video, but I mean, so, some about World of War, man. You just, you can't really beat it. It's a classic. This game is very flawed and very glitchy, but that's kind of what makes it beautiful. All right, round three finished. On to round four, and we have enough points to go get the power on, so we can start opening up the teleporters. Exact change, baby. Oof. So satisfying. All right, we got Jug, so I feel a lot safer. I'm just gonna have to make sure I'm very careful when I get the Wonder Waff. I can't tell you how many times as a kid I got the Wonder Waff and zapped myself, and I would always go down after two hits, and I'd be like, why did that happen? Like, I had Juggernaut. And nowadays, now that I know, it's just like, oh, oh why is that a thing? How did that get past playtesting, and why did they never update it to fix it? Ooh, see, normally I like Dog Rounds because they provide max ammo, but when it comes to this challenge, uh, I don't know, because they're easier rounds, which means that there's less enemies, and I'm gonna get less points, and they're just, well, they're one of those things where it's an easy round. It only puts us into higher rounds. If, if you get what I'm trying to say, like, it's only gonna make it harder for us long term, even though they're technically easier rounds, because if those rounds were instead filled with zombies, we'd be able to get way more points and get this done a lot earlier, but those dog rounds, man, ooh gonna make it a little challenging i'm betting it's gonna take us at least around 30 maybe even like mid 30s to get this done that's why i'm thinking we'll turn the pack a punch on get rid of the starting pistol we'll pack a punch and get it out of the way and then we'll keep the uh well this slot this this gun slot right here that's holding the starting pistol this is the slot that we'll use to get all the other guns upgraded. We'll grab a gun, go pack a punch it, and we'll keep the Thompson on pack a punch until later in this. So then we can build up as many points as possible and run back and get ammo when we need it, just so we know we have a good and reliable gun to do so. Because between the MP40 and the Thompson, these two guns are amazing for racking up points. I mean, look at this. We, we got a double point when we started. We barely had 1K, and now we're like soaring through. We almost have enough to pack a punch of weapon. I'd have to say my favorite point weapon in all of COD Zombies would probably be the M1927 on Mob the Dead. First teleporter, and boom, first teleporter. Another double points. I'll take it. Max ammo. Dude, literally, I needed that max ammo. This is actually perfect. Okay. Maybe RNG is on my side. I don't want to jinx it, so I'll just. Oh, oh, you you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. I'm pulling out the starting pistol. You cannot make this up. This is perfect. Look at that. Just. Oh. The points. I love it. I've never been this set on points so early in a game of World of War Dereese. All right, I think it's time for us to just go get the teleporters of it. We have enough money to do so, so I'd rather save the zombie, go get this out of the way, so then we don't gotta worry about doing it at another time, and we might even still have enough to get the first pistol pack-a-punch, so that's that's awesome. Oh no, the teleporter killed the zombie, I didn't even realize. Okay, so now we're going under round eight. Tis what it is, we'll go get this other teleporter open real quick and get the first pistol done. All right, there we go, that is the pack-a-punch open. So we'll get some of these zombies out of our way, and then we'll get the first gun done. All the points. Oh, it is so beautiful. Oh my god, World of War glitchy mechanics. I hate getting sucked into zombies like that. All right, round eight done. Let's get the first weapon pack a punched. And, ah, beautiful. The C3000 Biatches. Great. While I'm thinking of it, let's just get another poo-poo weapon out of the way. Let's uh, pack a punch the car 98K, if it'll let me buy it. Okay, let's pack a punch this. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hate World of War dogs. They are so freaking vicious, man. All right. That is round nine done. On to round 10. Let's go pack a punch the car 98K, and that will make the second weapon done. Boom. I got a notepad right next to me keeping track of all the weapons. 1911 finished, and now the car 98K is done. Fun fact about the car 98k for those of you that don't know, uh, unpack a punch one shot of the car 98k does 100 damage, which is equal to one knife. 
But when you pack a punch it, it does 200 damage, which you guessed it, is two knives. It is so sad. Woo, we got the bar, so that's a, yes, that is a mystery box exclusive weapon that we'll be able to get out of the way. Awesome. That's fine with me. I've never been one to like this weapon much. It's a little slow, I guess. I don't know. Just something about it always felt kind of weird to me. I never really liked it. Oh, no. Getting a little heated up here. We should be okay. Thompson, save me. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Please, please, please have mercy on my freaking soul. Oh my god, no! Oh, that didn't just fucking happen, man. Oh my god. I knew I jinxed myself last game when I was going on and on about how RNG was in my favor and how it was gonna be the run. I... I should have got my mouth shut. Listen, I already did the 1911 and the car 98k. I'm not doing it again. The, I... I'm actually going to be violently sick. How do these guys do it? Like, I, it, I... Then again, nobody else do these challenges on World of War. Nobody does these challenges on World of War. They always do it on Black Ops, Black Ops 2. I think we need That's probably why, because I'm doing it on the glitchiest version of Call of Duty Zombies to have ever existed. But I'm a masochist, so... I'm gonna keep doing me. You know what they say, three strikes and you're out, so I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna try again. Oh my gosh. See, the first attempt, I was feeling good. That second attempt, I, I went dead silent. I was just, I just turned my fan on and let myself play. I was gonna try to get pack open, but then that happened, so. Let's see. We're gonna get this eventually. I don't care if it happens in this video, in a week, in a month, in a year. We're gonna get this done. I don't care how long it takes. We're doing this. We're getting the, all the guns pack a punched in one game. Oh my god, round one done. <laughs> the early rounds are so monotonous. I love this map and I love this game, but the only thing I have to say is when you're playing games back to back like this to do like a challenge video, the early rounds are so monotonous. But once you get past like the first three or four rounds, it's really no big deal. It's just those first couple rounds. It's like, oh, it take me back to where I was. All right. Got the Thompson again. We're gonna try to rack up the points here. I really hope we can make some more progress. I, I'm not gonna count what I did last time with the 1911 and car 98k. I know I was talking about it, but that would be cheating. That wouldn't be official, so I can't do that. I'm too much of a completionist to let myself slide with something like that, honestly. All right, we got Jug again. I'm feeling pretty safe now. Oh no, did I speak too soon? Did I speak too soon? Jeez, dude, these. These World of War dogs are relentless. All right, we got enough money. Let's just go ahead and get this first teleporter linked. I, I want to get these set up as fast as I can. And, uh, 22 guns. That means in total I'm going to need, uh, oh, God, Asian math calculations. 22 times 5 would be 110. Add to zero. Oh, God, that's a lot of points. Honestly, how many points do you get in, like, an average round 30 zombies game? Honestly, I don't know. I don't, I don't really pay attention to that. So that might actually not be that bad, and I just don't know it. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Another double points. Dang, dude. We're racking in the monies. All right, dude. We got a crap load of money. Let's go ahead and link up all these teleport. Ooh, another max ammo. All right, let's keep it going. Ooh, now I don't know. Do I try to get the mystery box weapons first, or do I do the wall weapons for... Eh, maybe I should do the mystery box weapons first, because... Uh, but no, I'd be getting more points later on, so I guess it would be ba uh, does, does it really matter? I'll have to work out the dilemma in my head, but uh, we're about to open up Pack-A-Punch, and then we'll get the challenge started again. No! No! Oof. Jeez, these zombies, man, scaring the heck out of me. I do not want to go down again. I do not want to fail again. No, thank you. All right, let's upgrade this pistol so we can get it out of our hands and actually get some good weapon. Ooh, another double points. That's, uh, yeah, that's good. That's really good. I'm gonna spam a bunch of nades and then we'll get the train going around here, man. Got the double points going. Okay, we're in a bit of a dodgy spot here. Run. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I do not like training in World of War. Or not, well, not World of War necessarily, but just on Doris because, you know, World of War is a very glitchy game, and there's some tight corridors on this map, so it gets, uh, gets pretty, gets pretty tense when you're trying to train them up, but I think we're alright, uh, finishing off round 8 here, let's go ahead, get the first weapon done, boom, there we go, C3000 biatches, first weapon done, and next we'll, move, we'll, I guess we'll go in the same order, we'll get the car 98k done, and then we'll go from there. I'm reconsidering my strategy, do I really want to hold on to the Thompson, or would I be better just going ahead and switching out with other weapons from the box? I feel like I might be better off just doing that, honestly. Oh, no. Ooh, low ammo. Gotta be very careful here how I do this, because this weapon, it's it's pretty kaboomy. Back up, dogs. I'm warning you. I'm not really warning you, more just warning myself. Oh my gosh. 
Way too close for comfort there. Honestly, until I have better weapons, I do not want to camp on the catwalk. That's just too dodgy for me. And you're probably looking at my perks wondering, like, grotesque, what are you doing, dude? But trust me, double tap with the Thompson, at least. It's it's kind of required. This fire rate is so slow and the zombies weren't dying. Uh, let's just go ahead and back a bunch of Thompson. Why not? We'll scratch another weapon off the list. I think I'm just going to say screw my old strategy. We'll just spin for both weapon slots. That might help us get it done a little bit faster. I'm not really sure though, we'll just kind of have to figure it out. Alright, two down, 20 to go. I see tons of people that play Doris training in the spawn room. I have no idea how they do it, but I'm gonna try to figure it out here. Uh, it doesn't really seem like a good spot, so I have no idea how these people do it. Oh, maybe they leave the door over there closed? Maybe? Is, is that what I did wrong here? Oh my god! This thing freaking shreds! I don't know if it just shreds or if it just feels really good because it's pack a punch, but... Alright, I'm thinking it's time that we start spinning the box because I'm gonna get myself killed with this thing and I do not want to risk that. So, RNG, please be on my side. Please. MG42. And they, RNG's on my side. I'm gonna grab Speed Cola though. Alright, I think I'm gonna call it Catwalk time. Maybe the MG42 seems like it would be a bit better for that. So, let's go camp, rack up our points, try to get as many as we can, and then we'll just go pack a bunch crazy, I guess. No, the frame drop is not my capture card or your YouTube internet speed. It's, uh,. It's the game. That, that, that frame dropping is the game. Double points! Yes! Let the money fly, baby! Okay. Max ammo. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I ain't too scared to jinx myself now because we're in a really good spot. There's not much I could really... What is my... What is my aim? Anyway, there's not too much I can mess this up. So let's go spin the box again. Actually, should we spin the... Nah, let's just go pack a bunch of MG42. Get another gun across off the list. Ooh, we got another doggy round. All right, really? Another dog round already? Isn't this like the third one? It's only round 13. Okay, that's interesting. MG42 is pack a punch. That would make three guns that we have done. 19 to go. Oh. Give me my gun, please. Ooh. Ooh. So clean. It looks so good. I love it. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna sit here since we got really good weapons between the Thompson and especially the MG42. We're just gonna rack up the points. We're gonna wait like two or three rounds, and I'll see you guys then once we have more points, hopefully. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Wait! 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 I'm out of ammo. Oh no! I did not realize I was out of ammo. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. We had like 16,000 po- Oh my god, no. Oh my god, wait. Oh, I didn't realize I was out of ammo. Oh god. Oh, that is actually tragic, dude. Oh no. Oh my god. Can I pack a punch? Every single gun on World of War Doris? Apparently not. If I would have known that my Thomas- Or my- my Thomas. My Thompson was out of ammo, I definitely would have stayed up- Wouldn't have stayed up there. Dang it, man. We'll try this again, though, maybe in a couple days, in like a week or so. We'll come back, we'll try this again on Doris, and we're gonna keep going until we're successful. Uh, I, I was starting to get a bit of a strategy right there, so I, I think I know what I'm gonna do next time when we do this again to actually be successful. Anyway, as always, a shout-out to the patrons, comments, Fave Grandma, and Lou Booty Tap. Hopefully you guys uh, they, Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you guys back here tomorrow at 7. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Stay beautiful. Peace.